Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving a functional equation. We have f of square root of x plus 1 divided by square root of x minus 1 equals x minus 1. And we're going to be solving for f. In other words, we're going to find f of x from here. So for that, I'm going to use substitution. So whenever you have a functional equation like this, you can go ahead and replace what's inside the parentheses with a single variable. By the way, I just want to digress a little bit here and give you an alternative problem that you could ask uh, when given an equation like this. If they ask you to find the f inverse, the inverse function, uh, you don't have to find f of x first. So sometimes people, when given, given a problem like this, they're going to try to find f of x and then they'll invert it, which is going to be obviously time consuming. And you could do that because we're going to find f of x. And obviously, once you find the function, finding the inverse uh, is a piece of cake. But here's the trick. If you were trying to find the inverse of this function, you don't really have to do it. All you have to do is switch these around. And you're going to get something like f inverse of x minus 1 equals square root of x plus 1 divided by square root of x minus 1. And then just replace x with x plus 1. And boom, you're done. And that is going to be the answer. Fairly easy, right? That's not what we're trying to do, but I just wanted to talk about it real quick because uh, that question could come up later. And that's kind of like an interesting, interesting question because if you do it the longer way, just like I do with the first method, you know, <laughs> it's just going to be time consuming. Anyways, so let's go ahead and um, see how we can find f of x from here. Obviously, we're not going to find f of x first. We're going to find f of something else, but then it's easier to turn into f of x. So now I'm going to call this whole thing, this gigantic expression. How about calling that t? Okay, so then we're going to, I don't want to call it y because sometimes if you write f, uh, f of x as y, so y equals f of x, uh, I don't want you to be confused. So let's set square root of x plus 1 over square root of x minus 1 equal to, let's set it equal to t. Okay, now my goal is the following. From this equation, I am going to solve for x and x is going to be in terms of t. And then whatever that x value is in terms of t, I'm going to uh, substitute that here and then I'll be done. All right, let's go ahead and do it. So to be able to do this, we have to cross multiply here. And that's going to give us square root of x plus 1 equals t times the square root of x minus t. Remember, our goal is to solve for x. So let's go ahead and put everything that contains an x or something that looks like x uh, on the same side. So we get t square root of x minus square root of x equals t plus 1. And then factor out square root of x, you'll get t minus 1 equals t plus 1. And then divide both sides by t minus 1. This kind of tells you that t should not equal 1. And it's impossible for t to be 1 because if you think about it, square root of x plus 1 and square root of x minus 1 are two numbers that are two apart and there's no way they can be equal. Make sense? Okay, so sometimes folks are confused, like when we change the variables, does it become a different function? Uh, sort of. Uh, the domain is not actually going to change. The values are going to be compatible. Anyways, so from here, square root of x can be written as t plus 1 divided by t minus 1. Remember, our goal is to find x, so let's go ahead and square both sides. And if we do, we're going to get x. From here, x becomes t plus 1 squared. Let's go ahead and separate them. t plus 1 quantity squared divided by t minus 1 quantity squared. And I can definitely write it as t squared plus 2t plus 1, 2t or not 2t, divided by t squared minus 2t plus 1. Okay, so that is the x value. We, our goal is to find x, but we still have to substitute that. So from here, we get we had f of t, remember, uh, we, we got f of t equals x minus 1. This is true. Now we're going to replace x with what it is. And let's see what f of t is going to look like. So I replace x with t squared plus 2t plus 1. That's the power of substitution. Gigantic things like complicated expressions can turn into a single, single variables. Okay. Now let's go ahead and make a common denominator by subtracting t squared minus 2t plus 1 from 
t squared plus 2t plus 1. So it's going to look like this, t squared plus 2t plus 1 minus t squared minus 2t plus 1. I have to write that in parentheses. Then it's going to be divided by t squared minus 2t plus 1. Let's go ahead and simplify the numerator here. Uh, we can just cross out t squared and 1. So we get 2t minus negative 2t. So that's going to be positive 2t plus 2t or 2t plus 2t, 4t, okay? And that's going to be divided by t squared minus 2t plus 1. Awesome. Now our goal was to find f of x, no big difference. We're just going to replace uh, t with x. But remember, it's not the same x we're talking about because x is equal to this. Now I'm replacing t with x. I'm not saying t always equals x. It's just temporary, you know, uh, dummy variable, whatever you want to call that. It's just dummy. Okay, so replace t with x now and you're going to get f of x equals 4x divided by x squared minus 2x plus 1. If you want, you can write the denominator as x minus 1 quantity squared. Now, if you take a look at this equation, obviously, x cannot be 1 because if x is equal to 1, then it's going to be undefined. So in the original problem, if you look at the original one, uh, do you have a similar issue? Yes. If you replace x with 1, you're going to have an issue because the denominator is going to be 0, so on and so forth. Okay, you can kind of look back and forth to see what's going on between these two, but that is going to be the answer. And this brings us to the end of this video. Well, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you enjoyed it, please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.